Hello guys, welcome to EZTV Present Tech View another episode. And our, our today's uh, topic is how you can reset uh, ESXi host root password. Um, so for changing the root password, like you for, for some reason you forget uh, your ESXi host root password and then how you can reset it. So the process, how you can reset it, that's what I wanna show you in this uh, tutorial. Um, so before I go there, um, if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel and also uh, click the bell icon to get my latest update. And please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. All right, let's get started. I'm going to share my screen. All right, so host, actually, what is this? Like, log into USXA, right? So when you forget your USXA root password, you are not able to log in there. So there is two way. One is you can reset your password, otherwise you have to deploy new ESXi. You have to remove the completely the old one. So which include, which involves a lot of work. So you don't need to do that. If you do a simple thing, which is called host profiling. So through the host profiling, you can create a host profile. And through this, you can reset your uh, root password. That means it's gonna create a template. So let's see how we can do that. It's very simple. Uh, so um, I have my home lab. So I'm going to my home lab uh, B Center. So this is my B Center. I have three hosts, uh, master host 01.els.com, which is my uh, FQDN of my host, so, and host two, host three. So, and also my IP address is, um, so I can, Log in any ESXi host through uh, the FQDN or the IP address. That's what that's everybody we know already. So as a um, demo class, as a demo tutorial, I want to show you guys um, how you can do that on one of your or one of my, on my ESXi host. All right. So if you put the wrong password, it says cannot complete the login, right? And if you have a right password, like this be able to log in right so first time i did a wrong password this wasn't i wasn't able to log in now i put the correct password that's why i'm able to log in but for some reason you forget it then how you can do that so now i'm going to show you the, the first thing is you have to create a host profile how you can create a host profile so whatever host you have any pro any one of the host yeah you have to select any one of the host and you have to create a template, host profile, that means template. So right, click the menu options, and then go to the policy and profile and go to the host profile. So right now I don't have any, right now I don't have any host profile. So the first host profile I'm going to create, through the host profile, you can change, you can make a template for a lot of change inside the SXI like so distributed switch, standard switch, network card, uh, some other policies, so a lot of things you can do. But I'm not going with all kind of configuration or setup. I'm, I just wanna show you only the, how you can reset the root password through the host profile. So through the host profile, you have to, what we did so far, we just click menu options and policy and profile, right? And we get this window. On the left-hand side, this is host profile. When you click the host profile, you will be able to see this. Then extract host profile. So you have to extract a host profile from any one of your hosts on your, from your environment. It doesn't matter which host you're selecting. So now we are just trying to create a template, nothing else. So select it. So for example, host number three, we are trying. Or maybe host number one, you're trying. Anyone, click next. And then host profile name. So you can say, uh, Reset ESXi root password with host profile. And if you want, you can um, give a nice description and finish. So it's gonna take a little bit of time. Uh, let's check the status. It's creating a host profile. And this is my home lab and it's uh, running with uh, BSEN. Uh, that's why uh, my environment is a little bit slow. But if you do in your uh, office environment, uh, hopefully it will not take that long. 
to create a host profile. It's gonna be happen like uh, quick. Uh, so we have to wait until it's done. All right, it's done. Now, it's done. Now, right click on it and you can say, edit host profile. So from the edit host profile, what we are going to do, we are just going to reset the root password because in, inside this host profile, there is a lot of things. I don't wanna change all of the all of things. So the first thing is my target is to create a template with the host profile and the host profile template, this template is only for root password reset. So type root, directly go to the, and say search. And you see root is here, right? So we have to, and check everything because there is a uh, okay here. I don't, know, I don't want this. I just want this. So it's under security. All right. And you can just save. Now we can go again. The so savings. You have to wait a little bit. Again, it's gonna take a little bit of time, but it's gonna be happen very quick on your environment. So after it done, um, I wanna check it again, make sure my setting, okay, it's done. Right click on it and then go edit profile and check, see? So all these are also check mark on it, right? Actually, I don't want all these settings, just uncheck it. That's why I'm going to recheck it again. So uncheck, uncheck, uncheck everything, uncheck. Firewall I don't need, service configuration, uh, this one I don't need. And in here under security, actually I don't need, I don't need this one. I just only need the security, not only security. I just need only, no, not role, user configuration. I just need only root one. That's it, nothing else. So if all other things is check mark, that means you template include those settings. And whenever you apply this template to other host, you're gonna change all of these things. So make sure everything else without root, everything else is unchecked, unchecked. Make sure you have to check it, everything. So I checked everything almost. Nothing shows here. All, all the settings shows unchecked, right? All the settings shows unchecked. Only settings I have here. Root. Just root user configuration. That settings I just only need, nothing else, because I'm not changing anything. And this template is I'm creating for resetting the root password, right? So select the root options, and then on the right side it will show you options. So this is the username root. The is administrative types, and role is an admin role. And so go to the fixed password configuration, password. Say, um, as a demo, I'm putting here the common password. So, which is, I'm going to show you on the screen. Um, notepad, what I'm going to use. So, notepad in here. Welcome, one, two, three, dollar sign. That's what I'm going to use. So, I, I'm just going to copy this one. Why I'm, I'm writing here? Because I want to show you guys actually which password I'm using. And I'm gonna use same thing after I change it and I, I will use the same password for login. All right, so I'm going to copy this one and paste it again. So that's how you guys know I, I, I just tried this one exactly. All right, and hit save. All right, so host profile is going to be saved. You have to wait maybe a couple of minutes. Oh no, it's done. It didn't take that long. All right, so our host profile is ready with the reset password, right? The one we created. So this is our template, host profile, root password change template. Now, you can apply from here, from through this, or if you go back the host, either way, 
we just need to, so for example, we are trying to apply on host number three, right? Template, so right click on it and say um, host profile, attach host profile, attach host profile. And then it will ask you which profile you want. You can select this one and say, okay. So now this host profile is attached with, now go to the, uh, again, host profile. And now you can check, check the, this is the second, you just attach the template, that means host profile, the one we just created. And then now second is the same process, select the whole target host and host, go to the host profile. And then now check host profile compliance, check it. All right, so East, East already checked the host profile compliance and host compliance, what the status shows? See the profile name is root this, last check time and compliance status shows not compliant, right? So if it is not compliant in that case, what are you gonna do? Right click on it and go to the host profile and you can say remediate. So when you do the remediate and check, uncheck this one and remediate and say remediate it. It's gonna take a little bit of time. And running the pre-check, see here, the status running the pre-check. And also uh, you, you can monitor the change here. Batch apply host configuration. Wait a little bit, it's almost done, it's 50% done. All right, it's done. Now what it says, host compliance, status is compliant. But if you want to see again, you can just right click on it, um, host profile, you can say check host compliance again, if you want. It's not mandatory because you already saw it here, it says compliant and check mark, right? Green check mark, so it's fine. Now the password is changed. Which password? Root password is changed. And what the password we pro provide? Welcome one, two, three, dollars, right? That's what we, we provide for this host. So now we will be able to log in with this. And still the profile is attached with this host. So if you want, you can remove it or you can leave it like this, no problem. There is no issue. But if you want to, like remove the uh, profile from this host, you can say detach the host profile and yes. All right, so host profile look like it's detached. Now no more host profile. There's no, no more host profile here. All right, so resetting is done. Now it's time to check. So our host name is masterhost03.ls.com or you can access the ESXi through the IP address, either way. So I'm going to access through the my uh, ESXi host, FQDM, fully qualified domain name. And what's our password? This is our password, right? I'm going to copy the password. Right click, copy, and I'll paste it. Oh, sorry, this, previously I logged in there, that's why I log out. All right, so I'm going to log in root and then what? password, I'm just going to paste it, right? The one I just copied, login. See, I'm logged, I'm logged in with my new password, right? So this is the system, this is how you can change. If you forget the root password, you can change it. So for example, you forget for this one, so you can do the same way, right? Click on it, go to the host, um, host profile, attach the host profile, and then, Select this one and then um, check the compliance, then remediate, and then check compliance again, then detach the baseline. So that's it. Uh, uh, not baseline actually, detach the post profile. That's it. So, so the same way, if you want to apply it for 50 hosts, you can do the 50 hosts. You can reset it the same way. All right, that's all. Thank you. Um, Thanks for watching my video. 
Um, again, if you don't, if you are new in my channel, uh, please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon to get my uh, latest video. And also, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like my video. Thank you. Bye.